Husker fans, Sam McEwen with the Omaha World Herald, HuskerExtra.com and Omaha.com. This is the three keys to Nebraska, Iowa. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Nebraska and Iowa are playing after Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, for the, yeah, the yet another year. I think the 11th year in a row. Uh, I was trying to remember if the COVID year last year they played after Thanksgiving, but I believe they did. Uh, so this will be the 11th time uh, that Nebraska and Iowa play the day after Thanksgiving. And guess what? Iowa's won every single one of these since 2015. Uh, and Nebraska's really come close several years in a row, right? In 2018 and 2019 and 2020, they lost basically on the last drives of the game. Uh, so Nebraska and Iowa have played very, very close games. Iowa's been a much more successful football program uh, over the last three years in Nebraska, but, uh, but they've always been tight games. There's a twist thrown into this one. Nebraska at three and eight, was a four-point favorite over 9-2 and two Iowa at the beginning of the week. Then on Monday, Scott Frost announced that Adrian Martinez is done for the 2021 season after sustaining a shoulder injury at Wisconsin that Martinez initially played through um, but, uh, but did not, uh, wasn't able to play against Iowa. And so we have a backup, Logan Smothers, uh, who will get his first career start. Nebraska doesn't have a great a track record in recent years of getting a, a lot of success out of its backup quarterbacks. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but let's start with the key, number one, and it's probably the biggest key when you get right down to it, uh, to this Nebraska-Iowa game, and that is surviving on special teams. What does that mean? Well, when you think about it, Iowa has in some ways won each of the last three games because of special teams. They've hit key field goals in 2018. They had a kickoff return for a touchdown in 2019. And last year, it was a muffed punt by Cam Taylor Britt at the start of the fourth quarter that switched the momentum in that game as well. Nebraska would have been set up at the 50 and maybe driving in to, to take the lead. Instead, Iowa recovers and tacks on another field goal. Uh, so special teams has been a decided advantage to the Hawkeyes in the last three years. On top of that, Iowa has one of the best special teams in the country. According to every metric that you would look at, they have a great punter, they have one of the nation's best kickoff returners in Charlie Jones, and they are just generally really good in special teams. Is Nebraska really good in special teams? Are they? Are we sure? I don't think they are, no. Nebraska is not good at all at special teams. In fact, they're one of the worst in the country. And despite what Scott Frost said about it being a problem with the specialists, well, the specialists didn't give up a 91-yard kickoff return for a touchdown at Wisconsin, and the specialists did not muff a kickoff against Wisconsin starting Nebraska way back. So Nebraska doesn't return the ball very well. They obviously don't kick. They don't cover kicks very well, having given up two touchdowns this year. Uh, so Nebraska's special teams is kind of a grease fire. All they have to do is survive. Play even, right? That's it. That's all they have to do. Not give up a big play. Not give up a touchdown. Not give up a blocked punt. That's the one thing on the bingo card that still hasn't been crossed off yet. Not give a blocked kick. Not miss an extra point or a field goal, just play okay. Field all the punts, don't let them bounce nine miles over your head. So long as Nebraska can do those things and play even, they will, I'm thinking they've almost won half the battle of this game. I honestly don't think they're going to. I think Iowa's going to win the special teams uh, category decidedly, but if Nebraska's going to win this game, that they have to fulfill that. Key number two, eight wheeler. That is Logan Smothers, and yeah, he's got some wheels. He's one of the fastest quarterbacks in Nebraska history. Uh, he was a sprinter in high school. Uh, he's probably, his speed's probably up there with Taylor Martinez, right? Doesn't mean he's necessarily the best runner, uh, but Eric Crouch, Taylor Martinez, Logan Smothers is about that fast. Uh, he's a very good straight, right, uh, straight line runner uh, and uh, has some, has some uh, you know, elusiveness too. Uh, we could see a lot of option football on Friday with Logan Smothers out of that triple option. He's pretty good at that with maybe some play action passes behind it. Not the strongest arm that you're ever going to see, um, but he seems to have a pretty good decision-making matrix, and he's played pretty well in his limited snaps this year uh, against Michigan State and Buffalo and a few other teams. Uh, we'll see. They're going to have to design the game plan along Logan. They've got to own that. I think Scott Frost made a uh, what some people might consider a surprising decision to disclose that Martinez wouldn't play on a Monday, but I think one of the reasons he might have done that is it gives Logan Smothers an entire week to sit with the knowledge, the public knowledge, that he's going to be the starter. And I think that's probably helpful. Uh, it helps a guy to maybe get ready mentally and emotionally and know that it, he owns it and the players know it and the players can come around him. Nebraska has to be good around Logan Smothers. They cannot uh, let their guard down. 
because Smothers isn't probably going to bail him out the way that Martinez was. So the eight-wheeler, he's probably going to run 10 to 15 times in this game. Do not be surprised if that happens. Three, key number three, roll the defensive dice. Iowa does not beat itself that often. Uh, they do have 14 turnovers this year. They have 26 takeaways. Uh, but they don't beat themselves that often. Their offense isn't very good. Um, they don't run the ball very well, and their quarterback play is among the worst in the Big Ten. And I would, wait, I would argue, outside of Indiana, which turned into a disaster uh, once uh, Michael Penix got hurt, um, Iowa's got the worst quarterback play. But, but they don't beat themselves. You've got to find a way to put Iowa in tough spots on offense. You've got to go after them. You've got to try to strip the ball. You've got to bring pressure. You've got to try to step in front of a few passes. You may even need to take a few chances. It's going to be hard for Logan Smothers and that Nebraska offense to put 21 or 28 points on the board by themselves. Nebraska's got to create some short fields, maybe even get a pick six. They did that, by the way, in 2019. Remember that? Cam Taylor Britt got it after Joe Joe Doman had tipped the ball, so maybe again they can get something like that going. They had an interception last year uh, from DiCaprio Boodle that helped set up a score uh, as well. I think Nebraska's got to get two turnovers in this game, at least two takeaways uh, in order to win this game. I think it's going to be very hard to beat Iowa if Iowa doesn't make some mistakes of their own. They've got to try to play even in special teams, and then they've got to get just enough out of Logan Smothers running the football. If they do those three things, yeah, I, I think Nebraska's got a shot. They're still going to be a small underdog in this game. It's not like they're going to be a 15-point underdog because Iowa, despite being 9-2, has the kind of team that defies being 9-2. The one thing you can say about the Hawkeyes is they're great on special teams and they don't beat themselves very often. If Nebraska can find a way to play even in the first and find a way to beat Iowa in the other, then the Huskers might have a Black Friday upset. You just never know. I'd be surprised given that Martinez isn't going to play, but you know what? Nebraska has lost so many close games and they've had so many things go against them. Maybe it's time the day after Turkey Day to win something. I guess we'll find out. Thanks, Husker fans. That's three keys in Nebraska-Iowa. I'm Sam McEwen with the Omaha World Herald, HuskerExtra.com, and Omaha.com. Thanks.